Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zimbiwo. I'm Inventor Dan Zen. And in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at some new things here on the Zim site at zimjazz.com. Do you see them? Yep, down here we have some gold bars. Oh, yes, and that is the gold bar bar. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we were having a difficulty finding a place for new things showing up on this front uh, front page. We like the simplicity, and so now we've uh, worked it out. We're going to put some new things down here in the gold bar bar. We could even double that up if we need to, and we've got Dr. Abstract and Pragma here. So each of these colors is a section, so if we go into Learn, which is green, you can see that it's got a green bar up top. Code, which is blue, has a blue bar up top. News has an orange bar, etc. And the gold has a gold bar. Right, so all of these, and we'll go through these in the next few bubblings. We've seen badges already, although we have, I'm not sure we did a bubbling on the new art badge. I think we did. And uh, then there's also tips we're going to take a look at. So in the next few bubblings, we'll go through those. In this bubbling, we're going to take a look at Zap. Now, we've seen Zap before. Let's just go in there. We've seen Zap before, and, but we've made some improvements to it, so I may as well mention that in a bubbling. So if you missed the last uh, Zim, uh, bubbling on, on Zap, uh, roughly what it's about is you can enter your code here and share it with others. Um, this is great, for instance, for a teacher to share some code that they've been working on in class with the rest of the classroom. Uh, that's what I use it for. Now you can put the code ID in here. For instance, we'll just call it test and test. So here's our code we, we put in there and we'd hit submit. And then others could come to this URL, uh, zimjs.com slash zap slash test and see the, uh, the code there. So I'll click there now and here it is. So when they do come here, they're welcome to copy it. So that will put it into the, the board for you and you can, or into your, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, your copy and paste place in your selection. And here, your clipboard. Yeah, <laughs> clipboard, board. That's right, a clipboard. And then here you can also show it. So you could um, preview this code as well. Ooh, my goodness, that's amazing. So you can preview the, the code as well. Um, if, to make sure you've got the right one, etc. And note over here, one of the improvements is that uh, we've got the name of the ID uh, of it here and also when it was created or last updated. So if it gets updated again, this will show you a new date over here. So that was an improvement. So we can make sure that we've got a latest version or if our version is different and that kind of thing. So those are some improvements on the copy, the show, and the... Um, the date here is cool, uh, but also, I don't know if you noticed, if uh, what was happening is people we would say, hey, go to ZimZap, and, and, and the, the ID is called test. So they would come to ZimZap, and they would want to put test in here. Uh, they wouldn't quite know what to do here because they were want, not entering any code, and if you hit submit, it just says, please enter code to share, and they go, uh, I don't know, and blah, 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 and then you submit. Sorry, that ID exists. So do you see what's happened? They're, they're coming to view a Zim Zap called test, and yet this, is, this was the only field that they had to see, and so they thought they had to put test in here. Um, really what we were intending is that they would just type in the URL, zimjs.com slash zap slash test, and just arrive straight at it. Um, but if they came to Zim Zap first, then that wasn't the case. So what we've done is we've added, as you can see over on the right hand side, a way then to view an existing ID. So if you put test and hit enter or click the view, now we've arrived at, at that code. So um, that was a big improvement as well. There's also improvements on the editing side. So here we are on the editing side um, in that if we were to make an update, so test two, I'm, I'm going to save this. I'm submitting. Great. It said it used to say code update was successful, and that was fine. But then you went to go and edit again, text three, and hit submit. It would tell you the exact same message, and 
I couldn't tell, or the one who was, you know, supplying this, I, they, they, they couldn't tell if it was, um, it was actually refreshed, you know, if, if that went out. And when you're sharing this with, uh, you know, a classroom, you, you want to know that your recent update just happened and, and nothing was changing here at all. So what we've done is just added a little ID there that says 5225, and we go to submit again, and now it says 46335 and 86910. So uh, in other words, we can tell from the sort of the update ID that that's just a random number that's coming back, that our update did indeed go to the server and come back. All right. Now, just a warning. This has happened to me a few times where uh, I've provided code share and, and an ID, yeah, go find, you know, go find the parallax um, ID, and then accidentally forgot to record or save or bookmark this number right here. Uh, now, that's how ZimZap currently works. It doesn't ask you to log in. I mean, we could remedy this by having people log in and then um, find all of their ZimZaps. Uh, but I just thought that that was too much of a pain for the sort of the quickness of wanting to share this thing. So I, I may reconsider that. I'm not sure, but I have. I, I know in practice I've actually gone off without remembering what that number is, and then I can no longer make updates to it because I can't get there and edit it. So here's my tip for you. As soon as you... Um, successfully edit there, you probably want to click on that. Maybe what I should do, yeah, that would make sense, is once you submit, I could add this number right on to the end of the URL here. But anyway, if you click on that right there, now you can see that we're in an edit mode. Or like that, that will, knowing this URL, anybody with that URL can come here and edit that. Um, and that's another slight drawback as well, as if a student were to catch what that is, they could come in and sort of play with the code. <laughs> uh, now, I didn't think that that was really much of a concern because place, other code sharing places like codeshare.com or whatever it is, codeshare.io or something, um, I've been using that for a couple of years and everybody can go in and edit that together. <laughs> the drawback of that though was, um, you'd share code with people and hopefully they wouldn't play with it. I mean, it depends on your students, uh, uh, but they, they might start typing and it. it's multi-user, it's kind of fun. Um, but even, even that, the, the main problem was, is people would cut it. So they would go to cop, you know, copy it and use it, but they would cut it from the code share and that would actually, uh, ruin it for all the others. Nobody could find that code anymore. <laughs> so it was inevitable. Almost everything I code shared out to 30 students, somebody would cut that by accident or just not realizing, it, despite sort of saying, please make sure you control C, you know, copy it. Do not cut the code share. It became a joke. You know, who cut the code share? And it's just like, oh, so after two years of that, as amusing as it was, I just decided to make ZimZap where that won't happen. So um, anyway, one of the, the issues, as I was saying, though, is if you forget this URL, you might have to make a new ID. So what you should do is get this and then just bookmark it. So bing. And one of the things that we've um, improved upon here is now it says ZimZap and test. So can you see that? It's got the, the ID right there. So if you were to bookmark a bunch of these, they all have the ID right there in the URL or in, in sorry, in the title. So uh, that allows you to easily find uh, your old ones to go in and edit and so forth. Okay, so there's some Zim, uh, some tips uh, on using ZimZap and some of the improvements that we've made recently. The, the update uh, ID coming back, the, the dates of when things are updated, the way that um, your users can come in and type in the ID and find it and so forth. So uh, as we've been using this now, it's been quite popular, like we're up to over a thousand views on um, ZimZap a month. So uh, it's become quite 
uh, an easy way to share code, and you might want to look into that yourself if you have students or other people that you want to share code with. So that's one of the things that's bubbling at Zim here uh, with the gold bars down here. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the tips and at the zoo here at what's bubbling at Zim, zimjs.com for JavaScript on the canvas using Zim and CreateJS. Uh, take it easy. Ciao.